Hi guys, today I'm doing a quick fire questions on the blast furnace. As always with quick fire, do pause it, think about your answer and see if it matches with my idea of the perfect answer. So let's start with what is the blast furnace actually used for? And that is that the blast furnace is used to extract iron from iron ore. What is the name of iron ore? The name is hematite because heme means anything to do with iron. So for example, that's why hemoglobin in your red blood cells is called hemoglobin because it actually contains iron. What are the raw materials which are added to the blast furnace in the extraction of iron? And that is iron oxide, which is Fe2O3, limestone and coke. Why can iron be extracted by burning with coke? And that's because iron is less reactive than carbon, which is what coke is made from. Why is limestone added to the blast furnace? Limestone is added to remove acidic impurities that exist within the iron ore. Right, let's start looking at the various equations then. So first of all, can you write the equation for me for the reaction between coke, i.e. carbon, and oxygen? And the perfect answer should be flashing up here. Now, carbon dioxide isn't the reducing agent, so we need to turn carbon dioxide into carbon monoxide, which is the reducing agent. So can you write the equation for that conversion? What is a reducing agent? A reducing agent is a substance which causes another substance to lose oxygen. So now write me the equation for the reaction between the reducing agent, carbon monoxide, and Fe2O3. And this equation is the most important equation involved in the whole of the blast furnace because this is actually where we're getting the iron by itself. Now at very high temperatures, the iron oxide can actually react with just pure carbon. So can you write me the equation for that reaction? What type of reaction takes place when calcium carbonate, i.e. limestone, is heated? That is a thermal decomposition reaction, and that's whereby a substance is heating and it breaks apart using heat. So write the equation for the thermal decomposition reaction of calcium carbonate. And here's your equation now. Now write me the equation for when the calcium oxide reacts with the acidic impurities, which is silicon dioxide. Now, the product here is called calcium silicate, which is otherwise known as slag. The way to remember its formula is it's the same as your calculator, so it's like Casio, and you need to write Casio 3, and that's the formula of calcium silicate. Just make sure you've capitalised all the start of the element symbols names. What kind of reaction takes place when calcium oxide reacts with silicon dioxide? Now, that is a neutralisation reaction. Great, so we've made iron in this way. Now we're gonna look at the rusting of iron. So rusting is to do with the corrosion and we use the word rust when we're talking about iron only. With other metals, we say that they're corroding. So what conditions are needed for iron to rust? And that's water and oxygen. Give some methods of protecting iron from rusting. So you could paint it, you could cover it in oil, you could cover it in grease, you could add zinc to it. Why does painting prevent rusting? And that's because it creates a barrier. Now we're going to get a bit more complicated. What's it called when zinc is used to cover iron? And we call it sacrificial protection or galvanising. How does sacrificial protection work? Well, what happens is zinc is more reactive than iron, so it reacts instead of the iron. And actually what it does is it donates electrons to the iron, so it prevents the iron forming iron ions. So it stops the iron forming Fe2+, Fe3+, and that's actually what stops the rusting. If that's sounding confusing, just say that zinc is more reactive than iron and reacts instead of iron. Right, I'm going to stop there. I hope you found this video helpful, nice and short, and I hope your revision is going well and that your exams go really well, guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe. I'll be back soon with another video. Bye!